on those uh, those stories in a moment. But first, breaking news this afternoon in Brooklyn. A 14-year-old has been shot at the Kings Plaza Shopping Center. The gunfire sent panicked shoppers running for their lives. Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson just arrived at the scene. She's got the very latest. Kimberly. Well, guys, people working and shopping here inside this mall didn't know what to think. As you mentioned, after hearing gunfire, many did run into stores and sheltered in place in stock rooms, back stock rooms, and waited to hear. Let me show you the mall right now. This is King's Plaza. It is closed right now. They're not letting anybody in, and we have seen heavily armed NYPD officers walking around here. Take a look. This was a short time ago. The situation inside King's Plaza Road, King's Plaza Mall here on Avenue U in Sheepshead Bay. It was about 90 minutes ago, around 2.30. Police say several people, possibly three, approached the victim, a 14-year-old male, and that's when things went south. There was some type of isolated dispute. The suspect pulled out a gun and shot the victim in the leg. This all unfolded again inside the mall, possibly in a jewelry store. The victim then actually walked outside of the mall, and he was found across the street. He was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. Back here down out front, this all, again, taking place about 90 minutes ago, and the suspects, those three people, they took off on foot, but they were found a short time ago, uh, not far from here on Avenue O and 53rd Street. We're told there are three suspects and police found uh, two weapons. I want to talk to this gentleman, Mark. Come on over, Mark. He was inside the mall when this all happened. Where were you and what happened? Well, I was in Primark. Primark shopping area and I was giving my guards a break and I heard the shots go off. What did it sound like? It sounded like a machine gun, like a semi-automatic gun. It was like da -da 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 -da. And then what did you guys do? I tried to get my guards to safety and call the GM, tell them to shut down the store because there's a shooter, some shooting in the building. Yeah. Did you guys have any idea at that point where it was or how many no, shooters? I thought it was on the first floor, but they said it was on the second. Second. I didn't know how much shooters. We just heard the sounds, everybody started running. And your security here? Yes, yes, I'm a security supervisor in Primark. What is the protocol when this type of thing happens? Call the GM, get everybody to safety, close the doors, and just wait for security or more security to let us know what's going on. And was more security uh, in contact with you? Yes, yes, I called. And what them. were they telling you? They were telling us keep the doors closed until we hear from them. And how long was it before you heard from anybody? About an hour. An hour. One hour. And then during this time, you're not necessarily knowing what's going on. Yeah, we had customers in there. We had to bring them to safety too. So. What was the mood like? I bet it was terrifying. Yes, very, very terrifying. Were you able to call outside to anybody, friends, family, coworkers, yes, anything? Yeah, I, what called, did you I called my supervisor, let him know what was going on. He called the rest of the workers, told them, you know, hold still to see what was going on. Don't go in the building yet because we didn't know what was going on at the time. And then when you did hear from our security, what did they tell you? They told us to just keep everything closed until they hear, we hear from them. And at this point, that's where we stand. Yes. Thank you so much You're for welcome. stopping. Right. Again, three people in custody. Police arrested those suspects not far from here. This appears to be an isolated incident. Uh, just that one 14-year-old shot in the leg. For